everybody, it's Chris from Baby Lock, and I'd like to talk to you about the lace applicator. I think sometimes a name can be a little confusing because you think lace, application, and that's all you can do with it, but there's so much more you can do with this foot. This would be a traditional application of attaching lace and ribbon using a flat lock stitch. But what I did was I took it a step further, deciding that I was going to use it as a guide when I pieced on my serger using the chain stitch. And the reason is, is that this guide on the lace applicator foot can be adjusted. So this screw allows me to slide this ledge from the left to the right. And I'm aligning it with the notches that sit on that presser foot. So I have the notch starting from the left, which is that C3, all the way over to the right, which is that O2 needle position. So a quarter of an inch from the C2 position is O1, and that's actually where I've got that notch in place with the notch on my presser foot. So meaning the notch on the guide is aligned with the notch on the presser foot. And then it gives me that perfect ledge just like a guide on a quarter inch foot. So I'm gonna slide my fabric underneath up to the needle, and I'm gonna stitch my first piece Again, always aligning that fabric edge with that guide. And carry that through. And I'm gonna take my next piece and I'm gonna slide that in position. And I'm gonna continue to chain stitch. So the beauty of stitching on a serger piecing is it's a chain stitch just like a straight stitch. I can take it out pretty easily, but I have this great guide also. I'll just keep stitching. Let's do one more, and then we'll take a look at our pieces. You can see how those feed dogs just grab that fabric, move that on through. And you can see here is my fabrics all pieced and perfect. Okay. You can also use it with an overlock stitch. In this case, it's a three thread overlock. Um, I've done an entire quilt with this. And this had lots of different angles. So we'll take a look just at that back side. See those angles? And when you look at the front side, you'll notice that everything lines up and everything matches, which I think is really fun. So I didn't stop at piecing. One of the things that I love to do is create my own decorative ribbon. And by doing this, I'm putting a decorative thread in that upper looper, but I always had a hard time making sure that that ribbon didn't move back and forth on me. So by using the ledge on that lace applicator, I know that that ribbon or trim was always up against that ledge while I was stitching. I didn't have anywhere that it could go and I was more consistent with my stitching and how it looked. And I kept going. And in this case, I took a couple of strips of fabric and joined them together again with that flat lock stitch using the lace applicator. So the foot can be used with either the cover and chain side or also on the overlock side. The last thing that I have started playing with, which I found really fun, is um, actually creating a grid pattern using the flat lock stitch with a decorative thread in that needle position along with the top stitch needle and creating a grid pattern on the wrong side of the fabric. And on the right side of the fabric, you start to see that stitch with the flat lock. And this, in this case, it's a flat lock white. And again, I used that lace applicator foot because what it allowed me to do is to fold on one of those mark lines, slide this underneath the presser foot, and what happens is that ledge is always my guide keeping my fabric, or keeping my stitch, excuse me, consistent as I'm sewing because that fabric has nowhere to go. It, it can't slide out uh, underneath the presser foot and away from me. So the, where that needle hits, it hits consistently all the way down. And if you want to learn a little bit more about that, we did a video on flat lock stitch success. So that'd be a great video to watch that would help you or assist you with this. 
And then we went from going one direction to adding the second direction. And then adding a third direction. And this is what our end result was. And that was all with that help of the lace applicator foot. So if you're thinking about doing this technique, my suggestion is to make sure that you have that top stitching needle because this is a 12 weight thread, it's a little heavier. And if we take a closer look at what that needle thread does, you can see that there are two runs in here, meaning that needle thread kind of goes back and forth. And you wanna make sure that that eye is large enough for that needle thread so that it doesn't snap or break. So as you can see, the lace applicator foot really can expand your creative experience on your machine. And I highly suggest that you pull it out of your accessory box or maybe look at purchasing it and start your exploration. So until next time, bye guys.